So, path of devotion, Augustinian prayer. We have Augustine of Hippo and Margaret Mary of Alico for the saints that we'll be talking about. But the prayer form that we'll be experiencing for this pathway is to say prayer. And you'll notice the picture here, if you hadn't noticed over here, this picture is actually taken from uh, Tizay uh, Chapel, the Catholic Chapel in Tizay. So, <coughs> a dear friend of ours, a Marianist priest at UD, um, gave us that print. It's a reproduction of um, the stained glass in the Catholic Chapel, so that's why I brought it here um, today. So we'll talk more about that. But let's talk a little bit about Augustine. Augustine, Christian at 33, a priest at 36, and a bishop at 41. <laughs> Any of you know his background story? So, if you know about how Augustine lived, definitely much more of a partier in his early life. Very true. Conversion at 33, priest at 36, bishop at 41. God took him and really he was on fire for, for the Lord. So many people are familiar with his uh, center turned saint thanks to a lot of the prayers from his mom. So again, you know, prayers are very powerful. So he was also another doctor of the church. He's the patron saint of brewers, printers, and theologians, which I thought that was hilarious. Uh, I have a lot of friends that do craft beers, uh, like to make their own beer, and uh, when I told them that Augustine's you know, the patron saint of brewers, they got a big kick out of that. Um, so again, Talk about a man fully devoted uh, to God. The quote I chose for Augustine, you have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. That is one that um, he's truly known for. And I don't know if many of you realize that the song I chose for the opening prayer alive again is taken from his writings. So, um, I thought that was a, a good song to use at the beginning. So Augustine, and then St. Margaret Mary of Al Alico. I didn't really know uh, a whole lot about her other than you know her devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. But she really set in motion the devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Her early years were marked by sickness, a painful home situation. And after considering marriage, she entered the Order of Visitation Nuns at the age of 24. She also uh, received the first of her revelations after being uh, a nun for three years. And then these experiences became the basis of the First Friday devotions. So that was something that I did not even know. I was actually sharing with my aunt last night about today, and, and she uh, was amazed because her church does the First Friday devotions. Oh, wonderful. So uh, she was excited to know about that. The quote I chose, I mean nothing but God and to lose myself in the heart of Jesus. So for both Augustine and for Margaret Mary, the whole sense of being totally devoted uh, to God um, runs deep. She was patron saint of polio patients and devotees of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. 